I don't know if you can see me or not. Uh, I am in Russia right now. So here people almost don't speak English. Uh, I mean, I'm in Russia, but in the middle of Russia, like real Russia, a very small town. Maybe 50,000 people here. So this is the pies. Only 93 rubles. One and a half dollars. Okay, so this is my pies. I feel really weird here because I think they've never heard people speak English. Anyway, I will go to visit my friends now. Now I'm just walking somewhere in the city. And here I can see some Russian cat under the car. Can you see him? We will see. Over there. Very fat. Hello, cat. And this is how Russian cities, Russian small towns look like. Here we have two stories buildings. Also we have five stories. You can also see the state of the roads. Now it is okay because everything is dry. Because now it is dry season, no rains. But you can imagine how it looks when it rains and everything gets dirty so it is better to have a car if you live in a small russian town visit my friends but they're not really my friends they're parents of my friends but they're still friendly so I think it will be okay and this is the entrance let's go inside I didn't tell that I will bring my camera we will see I hope they will not be scared <laughs> Hello. This is gift for me. Book in English. Pushkin. So I can read. You can now compare the English version to the Russian version to the original. I will educate myself. Yes, <laughs> and decide which is better. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, welcome. Uh -huh. This is my first English classics book. But not just a classical English book, but Russian classical. Russian classical. Yeah. guys uh, now I'm walking to some Russian University to meet uh, with some English speaking people and uh, we will see what I will be just telling some stories about myself about how I travel let's just see let's find where is it so this is how it looks outside this is some building here it is quite cold today because yesterday it was snowing. Oh, my hands are very cold. Uh -huh. I lost my way. This is. Ah, uh, это преподавательская, да? 
Здравствуйте. 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 They will be many students. I'm already nervous. <laughs> well, they're, they're small. Small? Like kids? Small kids? <laughs> or nearly kids. Uh -huh. I'm going to the room number 17. Here you can see already students walking. So this is my presentation. Um, so uh, the reason why I came here, uh, I was... I just arrived to this town, Birsk, and I was trying to find somebody who speaks English to make some videos, uh, but I couldn't find anybody. So I went uh, to uh, one of my friends, uh, she's Yelena Babkova, maybe you know her? Yes. Uh, yes, and I asked, where can I find English speaking people here in Russia? <laughs> So she recommended me that I can come here and talk to you and I can also bring my camera also. Uh, so this is why I'm here. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody is late. Uh, so my name is uh, Sergei Lopatin. Uh, so I was born in Birsk uh, city and at the age of five, I moved uh, to the Philippines, and since that time, I forgot how to speak Russian. I'm just kidding. Uh, actually, I know how to speak Russian, uh, but I'm, I'm just making my vlogs in English, and I'm always trying to learn to improve uh, myself how I speak. Uh, so I'm uh, traveling uh, for the last eight years, I think, and uh, today I'm gonna tell you about some of my experiences uh, how i travel the world and maybe it will be useful for you or maybe uh, it's some obvious uh, advices and it will be not interesting i don't know you just tell me if it's boring uh, so i can stop anytime we'll see it's still recording one hour 22 minutes so uh can i ask your question so what how how do you call this university how is it called in english Bashkyo state university how Bashkyo state university Bashkyo state so i am in Bashkyo state university <laughs> and how is it how their faculty here is called the uh, faculty of philology and intercultural communication Faculty of Philology, short. <laughs> so, uh, what will be your profession after you graduate? Most of these people, of most of you? Teachers? teachers? Yeah. In English teachers? Yeah. English, but also French. French and English and other foreign languages? And only English and French. Ah, only English and French. Teachers. Uh -huh. So, you all speak English here? Okay, so now I have a lot of friends, English-speaking friends, and maybe I will be making my next videos with some of you <laughs> when I come back here. So now we will take a picture. I have my camera already. 